Chicago Cubs hosting the Miami Marlins, and the Marlins are plus 100 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 110. The over-under is nine runs. Miami getting a run and a half are minus 195, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Cubs laying a run and a half are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Lazardo pitched once against the Cubs last year. Five innings, five runs, five earned. The Marlins actually won that game 14 to 10, and Samson has not pitched against the Marlins either last year or this year. The Cubs are on a two-game losing streak. They are two and eight. And, forgive me. The Marlins are on a two-game losing streak. They're two and eight in their last ten. They are 25 and 31 on the road this year. They've lost Lazardo's last three starts. They are two and five with him on the mound, and the under is five and two in the games in which he's appeared in. The Marlins are also da, 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 47 and 60 on the run line, meaning if you bet them getting or laying runs, that's what their record is. You haven't been doing so hot. The Cubs are on a two game winning streak. They're four and six in their last 10. They are 22 and 32 at home this year. They are 54 and 52 on the run line, so they're basically 500. They've won Sampson's last two starts. They're four and two with him on the mound. The under is five and one in the games in which he pitched in, and the under is hit in the last four games that he's pitched in. Head to head, the home team's on a six game winning streak. The Cubs are on a two game winning streak. The Marlins are seven and three against the Cubs in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is six and four in their last 10. There have been two one run games in their last 10 meetings. The under has six, three, and one. That's the under nine specifically. The under is six and four in their last 10, what the casino set it at. And the under has hit in the last three games. I'm going to hedge here a little bit and go Cubs with the money line because they're home. I am going to take the Marlins with the runs because the underdog has been doing good. And I'm going to go under because both of these pitchers trend under and the series trends under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.